so hello 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 guys welcome to our new video today we are dealing with uh, mixers 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 we want to be elaborate about mixers we want to show our viewers how to operate a normal mixer so a mixer normally has so many knobs in it so many functions so many sliders so many different controls but today we want to be precise we want to be to put it as simple as we can so off we go we want to show you uh, how a normal mixer looks like so all these are mixers some are what you will hear people calling uh, plain mixers some you'll hear people calling powered mixers so let me take you around so all these are different mixers eh? different brands different companies um, yes so that is it all these are mixers some are called plain some are called powered some people call them active some people call them passive so what it means when you hear a passive or when you hear a powered um, a plain mixer is a mixer that has no amplifier in it so that's what many people call a plain mixer then there is a powered mixer so a powered mixer means that there are that it has an amplifier inside it that means that you can collect uh, you can connect directly to speakers so for example what i'm using here this is called a decibel uh, dmx 1600 and this is one of our powered mixers so let me show you at the back i've connected a speaker right over here okay so it's different speaker output it can support up to four speakers uh, and these are the fans so inside this machine there is a uh, something called a toroido toroido is a power supply uh, that powers the speakers so you use a powered mixer together with passive speakers Pass, uh, passive speakers are speakers that are uh, that, that, that do not have power of their own so they depend with the power of the mixer so today i want us to tackle one channel so let me show you channels from number one up to number 16 this is what people call channels okay so these are called input channels so input channels this is where you put all your inputs okay so anything that needs to come inside the mixer is an input then when you hear of the word output uh, output is uh, whatever is coming out of there the mixer so these are called the input channels so these are 16 input channels powered mixer all right so at times it's so confusing when you see all these knobs you get scared eh? but if we elaborate or if we discuss one channel you can be able to do a replica to all the other channels because it's similar if you see all these reds they are similar all the whites are similar and all the other colors eh? so we are going to deal with the knobs these are what we call the knobs and then you're going to deal with the sliders and then uh very simple we are going to to show you how it works eh? so we start off with the slider okay so these are the sliders these are called the channel sliders all the way from number one up to number 16 and then these are the control sliders this is the effect slider so let's start with there uh, with the number 16 uh, channel slider all right so it has numbers if you can see here yeah? uh, it has something called db so db this is where our name is derived from db means decibels decibel is a unit that measures sound all right so these numbers are what you measure sound with so you can see uh, it starts from a uh, negative okay this minus db okay so this negative db all the way from 15 minus up to zero okay so it's called zero dbs and then this now plus five these are plus plus 10 which is too much eh? uh, so these numbers are what you, we normally use to measure the decibels or the intensity of the sound the same way you can measure uh, a distance in uh, kilometers uh, small uh, 
small spaces in in meters in centimeters or stuff eh? we use centimeter we use uh, decibels to measure sound so these numbers start from negative it's written here this minus db 50 40 30 25 these these are all minus dbs then up to zero so it has an indicator so i'll show you i'll, sh I'll show you something here yeah? when you are pushing these the lights are coming on when i put it down it's coming down so this there this is a level indicator all right this is to show you how much dbs you are doing all right so um if i push this lighter up it will indicate where i am so right now i'm at i'm at zero okay so zero dbs there okay so zero dbs there so normally it will indicate there the decibels that you are doing yeah all right so that is it so this uh, slider it will be used to control whatever input is on this channel so for example on this channel we have a signal that is coming from the laptop eh? so this is an input channel so this music i've put in number 16 all right and i just explained about the slider that controls that channel so let's go on uh, quickly so after this the slider that controls the particular particular input of the channel there's what we call the main left and the main right all right right over here so the main left and the main right these are outputs normally all these mixers all these amplifiers are mostly divided into two channels that's the right and the left okay so if you notice where my speaker is coming out from it's indicated uh, right over there so if i push the right output slider together with the slider for the input it's supposed to give a sound but our music has gone so let's put it back all right so that's it okay i'm pushing the input slider together with the output slider for the right output all right so this is the master the master control if i put it down like that even if you've uh you've got gained your channel you'll not be able to hear any sound simply because you've not gained your master output okay so they work hand in hand you can also be able to put this down because you've put off the channel if they were if all these other ones were up they will continue performing their their intended uh, functions so well because the master is is on okay so let me put the sliders down so quickly i want us to start with the three main controls we have the high control we have the mid control and the low control so they are all in white that means they have something in common all sound frequencies are divided into three frequencies okay there's what we call the high frequency the mid frequency and the low frequency so the high frequency is what we call the tweeters okay can put in some music okay so if you can notice i'm not sure if you can be able to notice but that is uh, purely high frequencies let me do off the low and the mid so that's pure highs okay so those are tweeters put them off you are not able to hear the high frequencies eh? okay so that's the high frequencies and if you notice they also have decibels so we are going to put it at zero decibels which is standard okay standard that means if you go beyond zero you are likely to hear distortion distortion is a bad is a bad unwanted noise that comes out as sound but it's called distortion eh? so this is the high frequency the next one is called the mid frequency i hope you can be able to hear the difference okay so this way you are going to get most of the vocals vocals uh, normally the mid range frequency the mid frequency not so high not so low okay so if you want to hear voices especially uh voices um, um how do i say it the mid frequencies okay this is what you do okay so if i turn this one off you're not able to hear the vo the vocals or the voices clearly especially for the songs okay so you, uh there when i add them you're able to hear them then this is the low frequency or the bass so if i add that i'm simply doing the bass eh? all right just a minute 
Okay, so we are back. Uh, we were here. So you are doing the mid frequencies? No, 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 no. Sorry, the low frequencies. And I was explaining this is the this is the base. Okay, it's usually low. Okay, so from minus 15 dB, you add them up to zero probably if you want. You can do more if you want. But remember, it's always dangerous to do anything past zero. Okay, so we are going to leave them all at at zero dBs. That is standard. That is a good sound. All right. Then we go to the next knob. Let me put our music back. There we go. Sorry. So we go to the auxiliary. Auxiliary is a form of output. Okay. So normally when you are doing uh, when you are doing sound sometimes you may need several amplifiers to drive several speakers that have different frequencies okay probably you are doing monitors separately you are doing mid-range speakers separately or you are doing bass speakers separately uh, house speakers separately you will need different outputs so that you can be able to control if you are doing monitors you can be able to control monitors separately I hope you are getting me. If you are doing your bass speakers from one amplifier, let me show you what, what amplifier is. So these are what we are calling amplifiers. These ones are earth leaves. They will depend. They will depend on the mixer to to give them signal so that they can be able to drive speakers. So assuming you have an amplifier that is driving only the the bass speakers or the monitor speakers, you may need a different output away from the main left and right. Because at times you will hear uh, instrumentalists telling you to add more voice or to add more power on their monitors. If you add it from here, okay, well from there, that means you've added uh, power to all the speakers, which sometimes may bring too much noise. Eh? But if you have this output that is called auxiliary, you can be able to come here. Let me show you. It's, there's something called auxiliary send. So if you if you send a signal from here and feed it to your amplifier then assuming now this is a line that is um that the guitar is uh, probably is using and they have their own monitors eh? if they tell you to add volume on their speakers you will not add even from the main the mains is doing okay okay these mains are doing okay so you will come specifically to the auxiliary and add them from here okay so whoever is on this other line this is line number 15 if you don't need too much, then you can reduce from the from the auxiliary. But that is now assuming all of them are receiving signal from the from the auxiliary. Okay, so these are form of outputs. Then you have something called the EFX. The EFX normally is the effects. The effects normally will apply sometimes to the microphone, but just a bit of it. And in most cases, in the guitars, right? So guitars sound better when they have, they have a bit of effects. So these effects have another control of their own a master of their own that is right over here okay so if you add effect here and you add effect here and now there's a line specifically meant for effect here okay these are effects you add there some delay if you can be able to hear now our music has uh, an effect okay it has a repeat it has a delay but it, that may not make a lot of sense so we do away with the we do away with the effect but that's generally the work of the effects now assuming we had a guitar here we could do some some uh, small effects uh, adding to the guitars which sounds really really good and if uh, whoever is here now is a vocalist probably you will not need the effect or if you do you just put a bit of it and especially to the lead vocalist that sounds good then to sum it up we have a pan so pan generally is to separate the speakers is what we call the left side and the right side okay so if you put this pan on this side you are saying this signal should only go to the left side so this is the right and the left so you're saying this signal should be dedicated specifically to the left side if you put it on this other side you are saying this signal she will go specifically to the right side. So normally we put them together. Uh, we put them at the center. That's a zero. And uh, that's to mean that they are going to the right and also to the left. 
right? And then uh, to finish up, we have something called PFL. PFL over here. So PFL is, uh, if you if you notice, eh? let me show you something. Uh, so if you notice PFL, there is a light that is coming up on the indicator box. Eh? So if I put this one off, right over there, there is something still going on. So if I put it off there, you will not be able to see the indicator. So if I had put on the PFL there, which is now working there, if you want to hear from the headphones, there is an output for headphones somewhere. Yes, it's here. Okay, so this signal only is what we we'll hear from the headphones. All right, so assuming there is there is noise coming out from of your cables, or there is someone singing off key, you can be able to hear them from the headphones uh, without uh, normally going on and putting off all the channels. So you can be able to specifically hear them from the headphones. So if it's number seven who is singing off key come here press this button press this one out so number seven is what you will hear from the headphones if he is the culprit then you put the slider down and you deal with the issue all right so that is pfl for you and then there's something we had left uh, here unattended this is called the pad so pad is uh, you minus or you add 10 dBs. This is to reduce the power of the channel or to add the power of the channel, okay? So it's minus or plus 10 dBs. You can see over there. So normally different mixers have their different uh, power ratings or they have a different uh, dBs. So this one is a 10 minus or plus 10. So let me show you what that, what that means. If you hear the intensity of that sound, eh? So if I put this one down, it has automatically reduced it to 10 minus 10 dBs. Okay, so that's the work of that one. So for guys who are using uh, keyboards, uh, normal uh, DVDs and blah blahs, which already have too much power, it's advisable to put this um, button down. Eh? You reduce the dBs or the intensity of that sound to minus 10 dBs. Then now here comes the killer. I call it the killer. It's called the gain. If you notice all the other controllers, have up to 12 up to 15 plus 15 dbs this one is called the gain and there's a reason why it has a red on it because it's dangerous yeah this one comes up to plus 60 dbs right so this is these are these are heavy a heavy knob eh? it has so much power in it and you can notice you can notice how how little i've i've used it eh? so it's safe for you to do all this you can do this up to zero it's very safe you can do your sliders the mean uh, right and left up to zero that's still very safe if you can hear the sound the indicator is still at uh, minus i think seven yes minus seven minus four there that's very safe for your speakers for your mixer for your everything even for your ears eh? but if you realize when you start adding this one eh, it automatically comes very loud okay so you will assume it's at 0 dB, but it's not. It's at 35 dB. So its center is 35 dB. So these are killer. So if you want good sound, reduce this. Do as minimal as you can. As minimal as you can. Then now play with your sliders. You're going to get very clean sound. So that's where we leave it for today. At least we've done, uh, we've, we've uh, covered the, um, the knobs and the slider. We've explained different... Uh, different things so next time we might uh, take another mixer that has more we have mixers that has more if you if you can see this one is one two three four five six seven seven different functionalities we have some that has more like that one that has about nine or ten that has about uh, ten or eleven i think let me zoom it in okay that's much more but generally you are going to get in your mixers you are going to get it has to have all this majority of the mixers have this or more so next time we'll cover more and uh that's it for today we say it's a wrap yeah it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap we have to go all right so there's someone calling me there he's called don and that's a tall guy there he's called don all right so we finished the video we can uh call it quits for today